Uh, All right. I am here with my very first professional boxer, Brandon, the boss, Martin. How you doing, my man? Oh, man, I'm doing great. Feeling good. Getting ready for my fight Saturday night. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. OK, the night of debuts, uh, it takes place this Saturday night um, in Missouri. Uh, remind me of the city, please. On a Missouri. In all okay. of Missouri. And we're looking to go four and zero oh as a pro. Yes, sir. Four and zero, oh, and I'm I'm getting another KO. I'm getting another KO. Yeah, we were just talking about that before we. Body shot, preferably from a body shot. That that would be feel way better to. You you're not the only one that has told me that the the knockout from the body shot is uh is a little bit sweeter. Oh man, that's that's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what can fans expect from you come Saturday night? Well, I'm a um, I'm a my style is a uh, boxer puncher. So with that being said, like I'm a naturally strong fighter, but I'm not the type of person that just go straight forward like my Tyson style for a knockout. I'm gonna sit there and set it up. You know, because I, I like to look pretty. I like to dance around for a minute. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. And I'm telling you, like, I don't want this fight to go no more than two rounds. Never get that far. The guy okay. I'm fighting his name, uh, Kevin Brown. And I just, like, even though he had way more fights than me, I don't think he on my level. So, I, I like, uh, Sam, my coach, I always told me was keep easy work, easy work, and make hard work look like easy work. So with that being said, I'm going to keep that easy work, easy work. Yeah, very well, very well played. Okay. And your opponent, uh, Kevin, what does what does he do well that we got to keep an eye on? Uh, he pretty much just comes out uh, aggressive in the first round, throwing, throwing a lot of punches. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm, I'm going to have to just weather the storm for a minute or two. Take that first deep breath. That's my time to go. That's my key. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just expecting him to come out trying to knock me out within the first two minutes. And, you know, he going pretty much tire himself out. And once I see that he tiring himself out, that's when I'm going to jump straight on him. Nice. And try to finish right then and there. Okay. Now, you like I said, you're my very first pro boxer. I haven't had any boxers on my show. I'm primarily MMA. Okay. So I'm pretty excited to ask these next questions because – I'm not like, you know, uh, what do you say, like a, a boxing uh, fanatic or like genius. I don't know a whole lot about boxing outside of, you know, of course, your Tysons, your De La Hoyas, yada, yada, right? Okay. So what rule set are you guys fighting under on Saturday? Pretty much the, um, the way professional boxing goes, it's kind of like I'm fighting a four-round fight. Would have been my fourth fight. I'm in a four round for maybe another fight or two. So four three minute rounds, and it's based off of a, a ten point system each round. So say for instance, in a four round fight, you can make up get up to forty points. But you know, like say for instance, say for instance, if you go out the first round, if I go out the first round and maybe knock him down one time, that automatically put me at a ten point as as winning that round, and then he automatically go down as uh, eight points. Depending on how, how good or bad he's doing around. Like, say, if, if I just dominate him and knock him down, he can get as low as seven. So it could be like a 10 7 round, which, which then right there, pretty much all I got to do is win one more round and have a fight in the bag, unless he can knock me out, pretty much. But um, it's kind of, if you ever watched any uh, boxing matches, the rule, all the rules are the same. Kind okay. of pretty, pretty, much, pretty much the same as uh, MMA rules. Besides, we go three minute rounds, and then we ain't got no kicking or no uh, grappling. That's it. Everything else pretty much the same. Okay, yeah, that was what I was most interested in was uh, how many rounds and how many minutes. So four three minute rounds. So, and what, what is your what is you guys' breaks in between? They're a minute, right? Yes, sir. One minute in between each uh, three minutes. Now, this is one question I've never asked anybody before, and I feel. Why not ask the boxer, right? When you get to your corner in between rounds, what 
do you, from a fighter standpoint, expect from your coach? You you was breaking up. I ain't heard what you asked. Okay, I said when you get to the corner in between rounds, what what type of information are you expecting from your coach? Oh well, the type of information like I'm uh I like to hear like like sometimes I, I might ask questions like I ask like what was open, what shots should I be throwing, or what shots are he throwing that I should be look be looking for, but like like that that's those are the main questions. Like you know, your coach should be the most like real good coach. Like I, I got a real good coach. So nine times out of ten, once I come to the corner, he'll tell me, all right, "All right, well, you got hit a couple times by this shot, so look out for that shot." Or you can throw this counter right there and catch him in between his punch. Or he might tell me, "Oh, well, he's running away from your body shot, so throw a couple shots to the, throw a combination to the head and end it at the uh, body with a power shot, or something like that." So you know, the, those kind of things you look for when you, when you go to the corner. Okay, and how do you feel about corners that overload their fighters with information once they get in there? Because I know, for me personally, I much prefer, just give me one or two things for me to think about and work into the next round. What about you? I'm, I'm the exact same way. Like, it's like kind of like, like I say, sometimes I will ask questions when I go to the corner, what's open and what do I need to look for? Pretty much that's, pretty much all you need to hear in the in the corner when you get to get to going to the corner and you telling your fighter all right I, I need you to do a b c e you know then they get to the point where like they going out there the next round and they trying to do all this different stuff and like they kind of they mind is kind of boggled a little bit you know what I'm saying? so now they can't actually perform and do what they want to do because now they kind of confused on what they really need to do so like i like I kind of like, all right, tell, tell me what I need to do offensively and what I need, need to do defensively. And that's pretty much it. Keep it plain and simple. Just like if, if you're a new fighter in the gym, like I like I, I train fighters too. So, like, I, I wouldn't, like, a new fighter in the gym on their first day, my thing is I'm, I'm going to show you how to throw a jab, the basic punch, but the most important punch. I'm going to show you how to throw a jab. That's pretty much it. But you got some fighters that, I mean, some coaches that when the fighters come in the gym the first day, they they showing them how to throw ten punch combinations and all this other crazy stuff, and then they wonder why the kids don't come back to the gym no more. You can overload them. <laughs> you can kind of overload them. Okay, yeah, like I said, I wanted to get it from a, a fighter's perspective because I know it's something that I myself breaking up you know, a little bit. Okay, all right. How about now? We good? All right, we good. Okay, like I said, I just want to kind of get your opinion on the matter, uh, being a fighter. You know, I've heard it, and I've experienced it myself, so there's that. Now, after you win on Saturday, okay, this is the most important question. What is the victory meal? Yeah. After I win on Saturday, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to go eat about 20 hot wings. All different flavors. <laughs> All different flavors. I need honey, 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 uh, hot honey wings, lemon pepper, mm. regular hot wings. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting everything. I might not even eat all of it, but I'm finna taste everything. <laughs> that, that, I've been, I've been wanting some fried food and chicken wings. I love chicken wings. Like, I don't want to see no salad or nothing for like a couple weeks. <laughs> Oh, man, that's good. That's good. That's good. Everybody likes chicken wings. Everybody likes chicken wings. Give me some garlic parmesan. I need those. Hell yeah. Now you're talking. <laughs> now you're talking. I like the, the garlic parm, uh, the lemon pepper. And I'm not a big spicy guy, so for me, it's like yeah, mild. Mild is good. Okay. It looks like we uh, we like, may I don't have like lost. Like the burn, the burn pop. I just like the little spicy little uh, flavor to it. Yeah, Popeyes, right. Popeyes got the spicy uh, chicken little flavors they use and all that stuff. Like those good, but uh, like I don't need no real hot wings that's gonna burn my mouth. Up. I'm like, <sighs> I don't like all it. <laughs> okay, and uh, when, when you're fighting, uh, how strict is your diet? Do you give yourself some room to, you know? maybe 
not be so strict uh, in certain times in your camp? Uh, like this diet that I've been on, that I took for this fight, kind of like a, a low, low carb, low carb, and then I'm fasting. So I haven't had any in the last four uh, weeks because I wanted to shred it up and I wanted to cut my weight a little faster. And then on top of that, I've been fasting from 12, 12 in the uh, afternoon until I get back home from the gym, which is around about 8 o'clock. So I would fast. I would only, like, I wouldn't eat nothing. I, I would drink water or look green tea. And that. I wouldn't uh, consume anything. But, you know, just keep my uh, body hydrated. That's, that's about it. And which, after, after about the first week, the first week is hard. But after the first week, it's kind of like you got to force yourself to eat. So you really don't want to eat, eat nothing. And then, like, when you eat something, like, separate, like, last, after I left the gym, after I left the gym last night, all I ate was uh, about three ounces of sound, and then I had some brown rice, which I couldn't even finish it. Because, you know, after, once you go on them diets and you get the fast, and it's kind of like your stomach kind of closes up a little bit on you. So that, that's why after the fight, when I go try to eat 20, 30 wings, probably going to eat, really be able to eat seven, eight of them. <laughs> yeah, 100 percent 100 five weeks ago i ain't have not one half now i got so it's kind of awesome <laughs> right on but, right on yeah, you know what i ain't the answer your uh question though because i ain't asked your question fully but the answer your question like like maybe like on a saturday or a sunday i might uh have like a little cheap cheap meal or something like that Sometimes I only did it one time with the knees four weeks, but you know, like once once you get to seeing your weight is where it's supposed to be at, you know, you can you can throw something in there. Like my thing is, my whole life, like I never drunk or did any drugs. Then my whole my drug has always been sweets, cakes. So when I say a cheap meal, you talking about like waking up in the morning having a couple of donuts. So that's that's yeah. a cheap meal. Too. So that that's that's what I'm addicted to. <laughs> <laughs> well uh the donuts can only affect uh you know like you, your blood sugars and whatnot right so right right you, you're not gonna end up on the on the side of the yeah, road or anything like that on a couple donuts. <laughs> right so i definitely not i definitely that i definitely will be at Krispy cream donut <laughs> i definitely will or dunkin donut one of them my guy, my guy, donuts. I said, I don't look like a fat guy, but I promise you, I'm a fat guy. On the inside. On the inside. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. I eat, man. Sir. And like I said, that's one of my favorite questions. All right. So it is fight week. Okay. So we are going to keep it short so you can get to your run. Uh, you know, because the shorter we keep this, the faster you get to your fight, the faster you get to your fight. Wings and donuts are waiting, man. So, oh, man. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> All right. So you're predicting a finish. You're looking for the body shot. You're going to get it done this weekend on Saturday, November 7th. I want to give you as much time as you'd like to thank your coaches, training partners, sponsors, fans, whoever you'd like that got you to this point in your career. Go ahead and take the floor, man. All right. Well, for one, I'm a thank guy for allowing me to wake up every day, keeping my family safe, healthy, and so on. And then on top of that, one big one, one, one big thing I'm going to have to do is to Nick and the whole HKA family. Because for the last past year or so, it, like any, anything I've ever needed, you talking about I got a whole basement closet full of probably, I probably got about every glove that HKA ever made. From custom gloves to even my own brand of glove from uh, HKA to hand mitts to hand wraps and shirts and shorts and you name it, I got it. Whole closet full of HKA. So pretty much HKA has been my way to go for the last past year or so. And like it's like if, when you see me training, I, I don't think I wore, wore 
club besides HKA over the last past year or so. And it, it, it's it's funny because like I'm like the type of person like when I dress up, even go to, to the gym, I want to look good. So I got like a glove to match every uniform that I wear to the gym. Every pair of shorts I got to wear to the gym, I got a glove that color to match it. And it's so funny because people are always taking pit, pictures and videos and laughing and be like, yeah, I, we know you you was gonna come in here and make it a fashion show. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm, I got to thank HKA for that. And you know what? For real, like like I was telling Nick a year ago when I tried out the first glove he let me try out. I got gloves that I, I ain't going to say the names of, but I got gloves I paid over $400 for. Don't feel half as good as the gloves that HKA make. And that's that's saying, exactly, that's saying something, brother. <laughs> that's actually saying something. You know, you know, I I just love the whole brand. Love everything about it. Love the people. The people are genuine, and I received and used has been beautiful. And actually, actually, I get to knock somebody out Saturday in some HKA gloves. So that's gonna be even better. <laughs> so yeah. and then I like to uh, you know thank all my supporters and family and everybody that's coming to the fight. Ball tickets. I sold thousands of dollars worth of tickets on a small show like this, so I'm I'm, I'm blessed. I like you know I, I like to uh, also tell my coaches thank you and everybody that just been a part, sporting partners, everybody that been a part of me getting ready for this uh, show. Been a long time coming. It'll be my first time fighting home since I since I've been a professional. Nice. So I got to up and show out. Yeah, definitely got to show up. Yes, sir. Well, all the hard work is already behind you. Right now, yeah, it's sir. just you know a little bit of fine tuning. That's it. You get in there, you perform, you do your thing, and like I said, the wings, the donuts, you know, your supporters, everybody's right there at the finish line waiting for you, man. So That's why I got to get the knockout. Get them up out there the fast. I get them up out there the fast. I get to go get to the wings. <laughs> You go. There you go. All right. And real quick, uh, drop your social media tags so that my listeners uh, can come and find you. All right. You can find me on uh, Facebook uh, backslash Brandon, the boss Martin. And the boss is D A B O S S. A lot of people normally, when I tell them, they put uh, Brandon, the boss with T H E. It's not that. It's D A B O S S Martin. And I love the one word. And the same thing on Instagram is Instagram backslash Brandon the Boss Martin and YouTube, the exact same thing. And like I'm just I mean, I, I I've been having a YouTube channel for about five years, but I'm just now actually getting into it, actually putting up little spawn videos or little mm-hmm. training videos and all that stuff. So like within like the next couple months or so, that should be going, you know, blowing up a little better views been coming up i actually got a video that i put up maybe about three years ago from like a minute uh, uh spawn it was not too much it was about a minute of spawn it was about two months ago it was on like a hundred some views but somehow i guess the right right person looked at it. so now i'm at almost a hundred thousand views wow in just over two months so some good happened with it that's it buddy what, but something good happened with it hey all good, man. All good. All right. So, again, I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your day, or I should say your night, because it's pretty dark over there already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the time. And uh, where, can, uh, where can we watch the fight? Uh, well, if, if, if they join in to my uh, Facebook, Facebook account, add me on Facebook, and I'll be going live. i have somebody going live on my page. Probably yeah, around we- Probably around, I'm gonna say about seven thirty. Okay. okay. About seven thirty. So, in your your time, that'll be what? Well, I'm out. So that'd be what about six thirty your time? Yeah. Around yeah. So. Time. Yeah, I'm gonna have me about three or four TVs going. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have, I got Courtney on one. I got the USC on one. I got the boss on the other. So right, a lot we're gonna be going on. Work. A lot of fights going on that night. Yeah, so we're going to be looking for that second round, or if not, the first round knockout going for it. Body shot, of course, with uh, HKA gloves on. 
you know, make sure we get a lot of pictures afterwards and post them. And so we're gonna do our thing Saturday. And All right. If, if you, you want to catch me after the fight, find out how the fight went. I, you know, I don't mind. Give me another call. We can do another interview. It'd be a lot better. Cause I'd be, I'd be amped up. And I'd be full by then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, man. All for it. All for it, man. All Appreciate for it. Hey, you taking your time out the interview. Hey, no problem, man. No problem. I'm gonna end it right here.